Now, I think one of the, the, the extraordinary things was the first day that we did it, when it was thought by the uh, Scotland's Garden Scheme, who we did it through initially, because um, we weren't sure how successful it would be. And they had said, well, you'll get a few people off the street. And in fact, we found we had a thousand people. And lots of people who'd lived in St Andrews all their lives had no idea that these gardens existed. And so that was one of the great surprises to people, I think, to discover these hidden, hidden gems, so to speak. And, um, and so each year has had its different moments. And one year we sold hats. Everybody got rid of all their hats. And so and it was a lovely sunny day. And so St Andrews was full of people wearing garden party hats going round. And then, um, and one year we had music in, in lots of the gardens, so that was all lovely. But we still have try and have music every year here in this ducat, which um, luckily the sound is absolutely marvellous. And um, and it's for string instruments, which of course you can't really play outside. And you can play in here, and it resonates, and you'll hear it through the garden. And um, so we, Steve Sp Steve Spackman, the viola player, has played in here for years, hasn't he? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yes. And then we have. Um, Callum McLeod, uh, and he's, I think he's playing in the preservation of um, uh, trust in the museum garden this, yeah. this year. And then we've got um, two musicians through live music now coming to play here in the Bucat. So I don't quite know who, 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 what that could do, but it's, it all adds to the sort of party effect, really, of having of the hidden gardens there. Mm. And I think there's something about it that we're down in Creel in the East New that they have gardens open there. But in St Andrews, there just seemed to be that difference that people coming to the town over the years and they're walking past just what they just think is terraces with nothing behind. Yes. And it was you who were saying, but if they could see what's behind these gardens, behind the walls, and that just seemed to, you know, as you say, that first day, it really seemed to catch on with everybody that they were seeing. Yes, it was just amazing. Something. I mean, we had no idea we do so well. We really didn't. And after that, it was all the people had opened their gardens, said, well, let's go on, let's do it again, but just do it for the Preservation Trust, which is what we've done ever since. Yes. Um, yes. And of course, it became the main 